I'm really excited to talk about moving RISC-V into new markets today. It's been an incredible year for RISC-V and sci 5 RISC-V, we've seen tremendous growth and acceptance in, as a mainline architecture. And to that extent, sci 5 has been growing tremendously too to meet your demand. Um, not sure whether you realize that all the keynotes so far has mentioned sci fi and been using sci fi technology. So I think that's really cool. And we've been trying to scale up to meet that demand. One of my fun jobs um, at sci fi is to travel around the world to meet a lot of people. And so this year at sci fi, we did 52 tech symposiums around the world. And these are all the cities that we got to visit. So during the visit, I get to meet a lot of partners and customers, including the top 10 semiconductor companies, mid-sized companies, startups. And I'm honored to hear your problem. And we kind of sit down together, work out a solution together, and really work something out together, and really deliver the solution to you. But you know, as you travel around the world, there's always these special moments when you meet a lot of people. And today, I really wanted to share a special moment of mine. So this is a photo I took at a lab of a very small local university in Karachi, Pakistan. It's, it was my first time going to Pakistan. And I took this photo because I thought this was really cool. As soon as I you know, walked into the lab, I see this piece of paper on a desk. And can you recognize what this is? This is Andrew Waterman's thesis on RISC-V. These undergraduate students were so passionate about RISC-V, they printed it out, they highlighted, they read every sentence from front to back. And they were so eager to show me the cool RISC-V processors they built. They're like dying to show it to me. Like, Yansub, you want to go see it? And they were teaching fellow students and all that. I think this is really cool. This was a special moment to me. And at that point, I'm like, I forgot about competition for a moment. And I'm like, we are changing the world. Maybe RISC 5 has already changed the world. You know, the cool thing about this is that hardware is cool again for our young students. Right? So this RISC 5 phenomenon has been picked up by um, a lot of non-technical people. I mean, RISC-V, there was an economist piece that was picked up. And they dubbed RISC-V as an alternative to proprietary designs. And this means that RISC-V has really come into mainstream. Also, the semiconductor industry has been noticing about RISC-V. Sci-5 has been recognized as the most respected private semiconductor company this year, last week. Um, this is twice in a row, so we won it in 2018 and 2019. So I think this is a win for all of us where RISC-V is really you know, taking inroads into the semiconductor industry. So we, we should all be very proud about this. OK, setting the excitement aside for a bit, so what is Sci-5's mission? So we are here to provide you high quality RISC-V IP so that you can go build your innovative products so that you can unleash your product roadmap. And we're also here to help build your custom silicon with your secret sauce IP, RISC-V IP, third-party IP. We can help you put that entire solution together into a custom silicon. And also by working together, uh, you know, we have been building a vibrant ecosystem around RISC-V, so that's definitely something that we've been doing together. So, let me talk a little bit about our IP products and some exciting announcements today that we're going to make. So you may already know, um, Sci-5 is the uh, company which has the widest RISC-V core IP portfolio, starting from the 32-bit embedded E cores and the 64-bit embedded S cores and the 64-bit application U cores. They come into a wide variety of microarchitectures starting from the two-stage, three-stage single-issue, two-series pipeline, the five- to six-stage single-issue, three-, five-series pipelines, the eight-stage dual-issue superscalar pipelines as our seventh series, 
And at the most recent Lindley conference, we have announced our three wide 12 stage out of order superscalar eight series pipeline. So if you'd like to learn more about this, there is a processor IP showcase tomorrow at 2.20 p.m. So go check that out. So diving into a little bit more details about our U8 series, it's the world's first RISC-5 out of order processor core IP. So when you compare this U84 standard configuration, which comes out of this U8 series, it's about 1.5x performance per watt better than the ARM Cortex-A72. It's also 2x more area efficient compared to our existing U7 series. So if you'd like to learn more about this, you can go read the Lindley article that was written about our U8 series, and it's on our website, so go check it out. Moving on to our Sci-5 Shield product, which is our scalable complete platform security solution. So it's an end-to-end -end secure solution starting from the root of trust to verified crypto hardware and software libraries, threat prevention, and software communication libraries, and also the end-to-end -end secure lifecycle management. So if you'd like to learn more about this, there is another talk uh, today at 2.20, uh, the open secure platform architecture of sci of Shield, so you can go learn more about that. Okay, moving on to our debug and trace IP. So we've been putting a lot of energy into this in 2019. So now our trace IP is ARM core site compliant, so it is socket compatible, and it's secured by Sci-5 Shield, and it is supported by your favorite debug IDE tool. Um, so for example, IAR, Lauterbox, Segger tools would just work out of the box with, it, with our trace IP. And it's delivered, pre-integrated, verified um, with our Sci-5 core IP. So if you'd like to learn more about this, you can attend the same security talk um, today at 2.20 p.m. So on to some new stuff. I'm really excited about these announcements. Today we're announcing our Sci-5 Apex product line brand, which is our scalable solution for mission critical workloads. We've been working on a cool formal verification technology. Um, it's called Kami, it's a language. So we've been using that to build clean sheet new processor designs. So we, with using the methodology, we build multiple design points to cover your application space. And we also are announcing one of our first functional safety partners, Resultech which really specializes in consulting um, and to help customers go to get the ISO 262 certification and also self-test libraries like STL technology. So if you're interested in this, there's a talk today at 3.40 p.m. called Introducing Scalable New Core IP for Mission Critical Use. So definitely go check that out. So moving on to our next product line that we're announcing today, it's called Sci-5 Intelligence. It's our scalable vector processor IP for advanced computational workloads. So there are three configurable microarchitectures across in-order processors and out-of-order processor that we're talking about today. What's available now is the vector evaluation program where you can get access to assemblers, compilers with intrinsic support, also, libraries like CMSYS DSP libraries ported for RISC V, also library routines like FFTs and matrix multiplications and all those things you need to go um, build your application. Also, there is a performance model that you can download um, together with a VEP or vector evaluation program where you can start measuring the performance of your algorithms and start porting your software over. And also, it, features the configurable vector length feature of RISC V, um, which provides you scalable performance. I think there's one story I have to tell you, uh, maybe you heard it or something, you know, RISC V is spelled as RISC V, right? So when Chris and I were coming up with the name RISC V, you know, Chris and I, you know, really love vector processors, so we had to get the V uh, into the name somehow, so the V is really for vectors. So it's RISC, RISC, RISC vectors. So uh, there's a talk tomorrow at 1.20 p.m. The talk is called Sci-5 Vector Processors if you want to learn more about our Sci-5 Intelligence product line. Okay, moving on. Um, this is the Sci-5 Learn Inventor Board. This is the world's first AWS qualified RISC-V IoT device. 
It's an end-to-end -end secure solution using our chips and a bunch of other technologies all glued together with Amazon services to, uh, to deliver the end-to-end -to -end, uh, IoT solutions to you. So there's also another talk tomorrow at 4.10 p.m., enabling security with AWS qualified IoT devices. If you're interested, please attend the talk. And another reason to attend the talk is to get a free Sci-Fi Learn Inventor Board. I heard there's only a limited quantity of them, so you know, go to the talk. Okay, how do you program all these Sci-Fi products? So we've been working very hard on software products. We understand that hardware is not useful without good software support. So we've open sourced a bunch of tools and, and solutions, starting from Freedom Tools, which encompasses the compiler, the debugger, the simulator. There's Freedom Metal, which is a portable bare metal library. Freedom SDK, which includes the build scripts, operating systems, and examples. And last but not least, Freedom Studio, which is an Eclipse-based IDE, uh, which you can download for free, which supports all the debug and trace features that we have in our IP. And as I told you, it um, encompasses a lot of the open source technology that we've been working on. So if you're interested to learn more about the underlying RISC-V open source technology, go to the RISC-V software State of the Union talk, which is tomorrow at 12.50 p.m. So in order to deliver the full end-to-end -end solution to you, to our customers, we understand that providing you just core IP trace debug IP, vector IP, mission critical IP is not enough. We need to fill in all the gaps so that you can go build your products really, really fast. So we've been working with a bunch of ecosystem partners and, and making sure that you have all the bits and pieces that you need. So we've been working with a bunch of folks in the IP world, software tools and operating system world, the cloud service providers, foundries, and EDA to put the entire custom silicon solution together. So a quick shout out on our most recent partner, um, Wind River. Um, so VxWorks is now ported to RISC-5, or maybe planned to be ported to RISC-5, and VxWork is definitely available to be used with Sci-5 products. So with all that, we're taking RISC-5 into new markets with Sci-5 core IP, going into the consumer IoT market with the Sci-Fi Vector Intelligence product. We're enabling deep learning, machine learning, AI type applications with Sci-Fi Core IP, especially the U8 series. We're going into the enterprise department. And with Sci-Fi Apex, we're, we're enabling industrial IoT and mission critical applications. And all the products that I just talked about is secured with our Sci-Fi Shield solution. So, with that, declare silicon independence and unleash your product roadmaps with RISC-V and Sci-Fi today. Thank you very much.